Down 18 at the half, Florida State fought back valiantly, getting it within one score in two separate occasions. Yet it wasn't enough as Florida State falls 38 to 24 to Houston in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Houston did a great job. They have a great team. Uh, took advantage of opportunities and we had some opportunities to get back in the game and make some plays early in the game and we had some critical penalties early. I thought the penalty the first series was a very critical penalty. Could have had the ball maybe midfield with a lot of momentum and things that went on that changed the field position. But then we had opportunities down there to make plays. Then didn't. And then offensively, we got picked up. And then defensively, they hit a couple plays. Uh, at the end of the game, we couldn't get a stop when we had to. And we didn't make enough plays on offense. Had too many turnovers and what went on. It's frustrating to, you know, come out, uh, you know, on the losing end of any, any type of game. You know, as Florida State, we're just competitors. We hold ourselves to a high standard here. Um, but, you know, of course, we, we wish we could have had a few plays back. Um, and, yeah, personally, I just had a miscommunication with the safety. Um, we had a signal that's kind of close to another signal, and I, I blitzed, and he was open. They did a lot of, uh, you know, nice things on third down, a lot of stuff that we didn't see throughout the year. But, we you know, we practiced it. I thought they did a pretty good job, you know. They got us sometimes, and they did play some good coverage and, uh, behind it as well. But, you know, we made plays, and we also didn't make the plays over there. So we left too many plays on the field. I want to say I'm very proud of our seniors. What, what the senior class meant, 49 wins in four years, averaging over 12 a year, uh, three ACC titles and a national championship, four major bowl games in a row. Very proud of that group. Very uh, uh, happy for what they've been able to accomplish and, and the underclassmen, I mean, uh, what they were able to do. You know, it's not about revenge in spring. It's a whole new team. You know, we got a lot of new guys. So it's, you know, so a lot of guys will be playing next year that didn't experience this game. So, uh, you know, you either have it or you don't come, come springtime with a, when it comes to motivation. So ends a great career for the seniors who won 49 games as a class. And the Seminoles will now turn their attention to 2016 with signing day in February and spring practice in April. That'll wrap up our coverage from the Georgia Dome, LaneHurtSeminoles.com.